So I've just twisted all these cables together. I'm going to give you a scenario and an example of why we do this. So here we've got a normal installation, a couple of power points that I've done. This is back of the switchboard. This is about to go into the switchboard and we've done our visual check. Everything looks good. It's all fit off okay. So we're going to start testing. Insulation resistance test, we've got 500 volts. Lock that in, turn that on. Meter is working. So we'll see if we've got any problems. Neutral, active, nothing. Active earth, nothing. Neutral earth, absolutely nothing. So at this time, cabling looks fine. There's no problems with the cable, no damage, no problem with the insulation, no shorts. You can go through any of the other tests and you will test out the exact same way that the cable and the installation is fine and ready for energization. But we have one small problem. Whoever fit off this power point, this GPO, they had a loop which they found, so they fit it off as if it was going to the next outlet. Easy problem, easy mistake, could have been an apprentice, could have been a tradesman, could have been anyone, or it could be a whole pile of other scenarios when it comes to lighting, uh, other feeds, other cables going elsewhere, could be three cables going somewhere and they only fit off two, because on the back, we have an open-ended cable. No test that you're gonna do will pick that up. And if it's behind the wall, in a ceiling, under the floor, could be anywhere, this can be extremely problematic. Obviously, you will have live cabling and it could just sit there for years. Someone could come and demo the wall or it, it could touch something, who knows? Could be any scenario and that could be quite deadly, quite dangerous. So how do we stop that from happening? It's quite easy, I just see it as a fail safe. If I can strip this cable, this one's a little bit harder than usual. There we go. When we do rough in, and we do this mainly in commercial is where I see it, but it's becoming more and more popular. That's what we do. Just twist it, I don't care what it looks like, as long as it's twisted, tape it up. And ugh, that's probably not great. We'll fix that up a little bit, there we go. Looks a little bit better. So every tail, when it's going anywhere, whether it's lighting, power, could be for anything, twist and tape, only takes a couple of seconds and you now have a fail safe for this sort of scenario popping up. Let's test it. So we're doing the exact same test, insulation resistance, meter is working, and what should we get? Should show a short on each one, I presume. Yep, that's a direct short. So that was active neutral, that's active earth, that is neutral earth, and you've got a problem on each cable. So this sort of a fault could occur in many ways. Usually you won't have all three conductors coming up with a short, usually it's only two, but it does still happen. But if you pick that up on all three, then you can sort of say that it's most likely that you've missed a cable, it's, it's been misplaced somehow, whole pile of different scenarios, I've seen it myself, and you can go back and rectify it, and that way you will not have any live cabling out in the field. Nothing that can kill anyone, nothing that can cause any damage, and all you would have to do is your normal testing to narrow down exactly where it is. That's, it can be time consuming, but there's a whole pile of different ways of doing it, but at least you will not have a live cable. And for those that will bring up that it's just gonna blow up the board. That's usually Americans. Um, sorry guys, but it definitely is. I get that comment so often. We are always testing. It's mandatory to test here, so you should be picking up this. And if it does trip the board, then you haven't tested. It, it's as simple as that. So I do get a heap of comments. A lot of people pushing back on this. Realistically, most people are all for it. A lot of people are doing it now. A lot of sites are doing it. But if you do have any problems, I'm happy to discuss them. Happy to look at other scenarios. I haven't seen all the scenarios. So obviously they could be ways that this isn't any good. Uh, some people will twist and tape only two of the conductors, that way you can use a tracer. That's definitely a good point and something I do like. So if you just do maybe the neutral and earth, that way if, if you're not testing once again, it's just gonna trip it, you're not gonna have any problems. But definitely hit me up, let me know what you think. And yeah, stay safe and twist and tape.